Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pashwika. Welcome to the channel where we talk about making money online as being a creative person, as being an artist, designer. And welcome to the Global Art Magazine page channel. If you are new someone and if you're looking forward to make money online as a creative person, consider subscribing. We upload two videos every single week about making money online as a creative person. So all the videos that I'm going to be uploading in the future will going to help you. So consider subscribing. And if you are a return subscriber thank you so much for tuning in today's video welcome back again so in today's video i'm going to be talking about how to actually sell your fans because i have got a lot of many questions about selling the fans and personally i do sell my fans i'm going to be talking about how you can actually sell the fans and can make money online by selling your fans so let's dive in before go park consider clicking the like button guys i do really appreciate that if you want more such video consider subscribing hit the bell icon Whenever we will gonna upload new videos, you'll gonna get notified about it. Also, we have a lot of the free resources. The link is in description box below. You can very well check it out. Recently, we have launched our two years anniversary Global Art Art Magazine. Uh, I'm gonna leave the link of that art magazine in the description box below. It's all it's two years, and I'm so 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 grateful about the beautiful blessings and the sales and the promotions and all those kind of stuff. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. It's almost two years, like it's two years of me getting started with the my four star magazine with my friend Neva Aljor. We together make that art magazine and getting started with the back in the March of 2020. So recently we launched our March 2022 magazine edition. Uh, it's an ebook format because our magazine is entirely a digital magazine. So if you're really looking forward to grab magazine copy, the link is in the description box below. It contains the artist interview. We are featuring the artist of the month. Uh, Arikelio Neto from the Brazil, Brazilian artist. Then we also have the art features. We are also having the blog articles about making money online, opportunities of the month, money making strategy of the month. Then we have the uh, also the uh, general of the month and social media updates for the creative person. A lot more is there in our magazine in the two years magazine anniversary edition so grab it out the link is in the description box below and thank you so much guys for your love and support i would be celebrating this two years because when i was getting started with that i had no idea what i was doing but i was just doing and following my heart and it led me to such a beautiful place and i'm so grateful for that particular thing to the universe as well and also my friend who is really really amazing an artist designer nival jor and we work both with the magazines i'm grateful for that as well we're looking forward to make money online we have our free art newsletter i'm gonna leave the link in the description box below i'm gonna soon get inside with that because i've seen a lot of the people are signing up to our free email newsletter if you are interested in that kind of stuff make sure you subscribe the link is in the description box below let's so guys you can support me and my channel and our cause in via the patreon the link is in the description box below on the patreon we have the early access of the youtube videos behind the scenes stuff uh, exclusive polls for the patreon and also we have the keyword list that we post on each and every single month with a niche idea so a lot more is there in our patreon make sure you check it out the link is in the description box below so let's talk about selling the font the basically i'm going to be dividing selling the fonts into two different categories one is the marketplace that is a one of the common marketplace where not just the font you can sell the graphics designs and patterns and a lot more and another one i'm going to be dividing into the font marketplaces yes there are the marketplaces out there where you can only sell the fonts and where is only one product is there that is the font so these are the basically the two different kinds of the marketplaces so i'm going to be dividing them into through these categories you can sell the fonts and on those marketplaces not just the font is there but also the different products are there like the designs graphics patterns textures a lot more products are there on these marketplaces so you can sell the font as well and you can sell the other words as well so let me talk about the a few marketplaces over here if you are looking forward to that etsy one of the most common marketplace out there you don't need to get an approval of course it's not free to start selling on the etsy i mean you have to pay 20 cents for a listing which renew after every 4 months and again there are a lot of the commission stuff is there once you made a sale for every product that you're selling on the etsy but you don't need to get an approval so it's a great way of looking forward to selling your fonts in the etsy now etsy is not a marketplace just for the fonts it's basically famous for the handmade uh, products people do sell the handmade physical products they also sell the digital products let's move on to the second marketplace that i have for you is the creative fabrica now this one is the my favorite one i have already made a lot of the videos in fact an entire playlist talking about the creative fabrica i'm going to leave that playlist in the cast section above 
In that playlist, I talk a lot about selling on the Creative Fabrica. Now, Creative Fabrica is not just a font marketplace. You can sell the cool graphics, embroidery patterns, textures, a lot more stuff you can sell on the Creative Fabrica. It's an approval based platform. You need to get an approval to start selling on the Creative Fabrica. I mean, it's free to sell on the Creative Fabrica. You don't need to pay for anything, but you need to get that approval to the fonts uh, by just uploading the fonts as well. So that's the great thing about the Creative Fabrica. I've made a lot of the videos. If you really want to know, you can check them in the car section above. Let's talk about the third marketplace that I have for you is Creative Market. Creative Market is kind of like a similar to the Creative Fabrica, but it's different, uh, it's different in certain aspect as well, which I'm going to be talking about in a second. But it's a marketplace where you can sell not just the fonts, the textures, the patterns, the graphics, uh, cool social media templates, a lot many templates and business cards you can also sell on the creative market. Again, you need to get an approval to start selling on the creative market. Like it's free to sell on the creative market, but you need to get an approval. I've seen getting an approval in the creative market. Kind of, nowadays is kind of like a tricky because they are already having a lot of the designers, a lot of the creative people selling on the marketplace and they are quite choosy how they actually pick up the designer are different in the terms of their revenue model. On the uh, Creative Market, you are making the sales by single sales only. But on the Creative Fabrica, there is a subscription plan. Like people join the subscription plan on the Creative Fabrica and then they actually download your fonts and then uh, in that way also you are making the money. So due to the revenue or subscription model, the Creative Fabrica, you can make more money on the Creative Fabrica in comparison to the Creative Market. On the Creative Market, you're only getting the sales uh, you're only making a money when it's purchasing your phones in the single sales. There is no subscription model is there in the creative market. So that's the major difference between them. Of course, creative market is old than the creative fabrica. So creative market has more customers, uh, more monthly page visitors. So you are naturally going to make more money. But I've seen that creative fabrica is growing a lot. Like I started with the creative fabrica back in the May or June of 2020. Till then it had grown a lot. A lot many people are coming on that. So it's a growing platform, but you can very well approach both of them depending on your thing. The fourth one I wanna talk about is the Inveto Elements. Now Inveto is a very big company. I think it's based in the Australia. And they don't just have the fonts. They also have the marketplace for the graphics, for the textures, patterns, templates, a lot more is there. Also the software is an application which they do sell on the Inveto. So it's not just famous for the fonts, but it's also famous for the other stuff. Again on the Inveto, you need to check their website. Now I'm not selling on the Inveto. I think I tried selling on the Inveto. Now their model is kind of like a little bit different. They do have the subscription and they do have the uh, single sales purchase as well, but it depends how it varies. Like I, I never ever tried much of the Inveto. So I'm not sure how it actually worked, but if you really want to know more about the Inveto, then let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna do a more research on the Inveto and then I'm gonna make another video for that particular topic if you are interested in that. But there also you can sell the fonts. The platform where you can sell the font is the Hungry JPEG. Now Hungry JPEG is a platform where it's a marketplace, not just for the famous for the fonts, but also you can sell the graphics, textures, social media templates. It's also an approval based platform, kind of like a similar to the creative market. Uh, they don't have the subscription plan. So you're going to make money by single sale purchase only, but you need to get an approval to start selling on the Hungry JPEG, uh, kind of like approval based platform. It's completely free to open up a shop on uh, Hungry JPEG, but you need an approval. Let's move on to the another platform that I have for you is a design bundles, or you can also call this as a font bundles. Like, Design bundles and font bundles kind of like they are similar to each other. I mean, they are one, uh, they are part of the one group only or one company only. Design bundles is mainly focusing on the designs, textures, graphics, patterns, illustrations and all. And font bundles is kind of like focusing on the fonts. But here also you need to get an approval to sell on the font bundles or design bundles, whatever it is, you need to get an approval. It's completely free to sell on them. But I think that they are also quite choosy with actually choosing the designer or the creative people to sell on their platform. So I've seen that in the beginning, all the platforms when they are getting started with that, it's so simple and so easy to get an approval on them because they are new. They don't have that many of monthly visitors. They don't have that many of designers or creative people selling on their platform. But once they gain some momentum and they are having the monthly visitors, millions of visitors, they started 
getting a little bit more tricky and more choosy uh, in how they actually pick up the designer for selling on their platform. So this is the thing you need to keep doing your research. Recently, I also came across one of the new platform that is kind of like a building is a master bundles. Now I'm not really sure how people are actually selling on them, but I'm recently came across that new platform. So this is an also a kind of like a marketplace where you can sell not just the font, but also the designs, textures, and patterns. It's a new thing. It's a new platform. So you can give your hands and you can try whether you can make some money on that. Some of the marketplaces where you can sell the fonts, these are are the marketplaces that are not just the font marketplaces but you can also sell the designs or textures patterns illustration templates and a lot more let's move on towards another type of the marketplaces where only single product is there that is the fonts that means you are only allowed to sell the fonts you are not allowed to sell the different different kinds of the patterns or textures now here is a caveat guys i also get an approval of one of the marketplaces because most of them are kind of like an approval based marketplaces and they are so juicy and so picky to pick up that particular stuff because they are looking for a particular glimpse or particular characters in the uh, fonts. They only approve them who are actually made a lot of the glimpse of for that particular font because if you are completely new to the font world and you don't know what exactly the font is, it's not just about A, B, C, D, E. It's not about that. Like you are creating an uppercase letter, lowercase letter. You're also uh, making the numbers. Uh, spatial characters, numericals, and all those accessory uh, things that you see in your keyboard, in your laptop keyboard, or in your desktop keyboard, these are also included in the fonts. And some of the marketplaces also tell you to make more glints for your fonts, that means making more characters. So these are those marketplaces that I'm going to be talking in a second, which actually tell you to have more than 26 characters that you have in your uh, English alphabets. You have to have more, maybe including some other languages like this path to include the different kinds of the uh, characters as well in your glimpse. So they can be a little bit tricky if you're completely new to the stuff. So I would highly recommend you if you're a completely newbie to the font world to give your try, give your hands over to the first kind of the marketplaces that I already talked about that the marketplaces which are not just famous for the fonts. You can also sell the other products on those marketplaces as well because on these marketplaces, they are not that typical or choosy with the fonts. Like, I mean, they don't have any kind of like a criteria that you have to have that many characters or you have to have that many glimpses in your fonts. So they are kind of like a more flexible with the font selling on their platform. But now I'm going to be talking about the marketplaces that are very, very particular with your glimpses, with your characters, with your spacing, how you actually space the fonts, how you actually place each and every characters in your fonts. They're so picky with that. And you have to be accurate if you want to get an approval on that. And I remember I got an approval on a few of them. And when I was submitting my font over them, they were like, oh, this is not perfect. Do it the perfect way. Oh, this is not the good. Do it that way. And they were like so picky, so choosy that it was taking me a long time to actually create a one font for that particular marketplace. But anyways, guys, I'm going to give you this particular marketplaces list as well, because I know that maybe you have created a lot many fonts and you're looking forward to those kind of marketplaces. Marketplace that we have for you in the second category of the marketplace is Linotype. Now, Linotype is formerly the biggest independent foundry. The font places where they only sell the font are called as a foundry, if you don't know about that. Linotype is a creator of the classic type five families like Helvetica, Frutiger, and Universe. With over 10,000 fonts under their belts, more likely than not will find the exact font you are after. The first marketplace that I'm talking about, the Linotype, you might get need to get an approval or something like that. Like Again, you need to check their website, how you're going to make money. Now, I'm not selling on the Linotype. I haven't given it a try, so I'm not sure. Anyways, if you want more video in depth, let me know in the comment section below. The second marketplace that I have for you that's kind of like only the font marketplace is the Font Shop. It's a font reseller in the digital history. Font Shop has expanded its base through its affiliate foundries. Since it was acquired by the Monotype, Monotype is one of the biggest marketplace out there who actually have the font, okay? Uh, their library includes typefaces from font font and bitstream you can go to the third marketplace which i have an experience on that is the my fonts now my font is kind of like so picky and so choosy they have a big application to need to get an approval i submitted that application and then i get an approval it's a font marketplace that is completely biased for the fonts if you're selling and looking forward to the font they have these spatial uh, rules for creating the fonts 
special characters, special glimpses that you need to have that kind of spaces, you need to have your phone in this way, then only they're gonna approve your fonts to start selling on the website. What sets the digital font distributor apart from the other is a choice of free or paid font family within a font family. My font let you choose from more than 130,000 typefaces from more than 2,000 font families. So if you don't know, there is a font families as well, like they do actually recommend you to create a font families or multiple font bundles because they do sell well. But again, you need to add a lot of the characters, a lot of the glimpse with the perfect rules to create and sell the font on these marketplaces. But I get the approval on that. And when I was creating my first font for the marketplaces, they were telling me the different rules and they sent me the PDF with the things that this is the rules for the selling on the marketplace. And you have to follow the rules if you want to sell on their marketplace. Pause. This is also a marketplace famous for selling the fonts. This is the fourth independent digital font retailer in the US font host library. Has over uh, 92,000 fonts supplied by known foundries such as Adobe, ITC, Monotype and so forth. If you really love creating the fonts guys, I would highly recommend you to creating a font family. Of course, you need to add a lot of the characters, a lot of the glaze, but these sell pretty well because people do purchase a lot of the font families. Now on these marketplaces, which I'm mentioning right now, are biggest marketplaces are font marketplaces out there. They are so famous and they have so many millions of visitors. Marketplaces, the big companies, the big brands or big businesses buy the fonts and they actually license the fonts. So if you're looking forward to sell on them, then consider going into creating a font family. You would more likely to get an approval because they see that if you're creating a fonts, following the rules and creating a font family, you're likely to make more money. Of course, it will going to take you more time to create the font families rather than creating a simple glimpse of a single font but it's worth going for that if you really want to pursue this particular stuff. The marketplace that I have for you is Dalton Mag. While the products are available on Adobe Fonts and other platforms, this foundry has its own online library with around 100 fonts across 37 font families available for sale. So this is also the website which you can check the Dalton Mag. Now Foundry, this is also a completely font based marketplace. You're going to only see the fonts on that. The Zicola font distribute typefaces for analog and digital media. The Foundry also sells typefaces of other practitioners along with their own designs, giving some of the marketplaces favor more the traditional fonts and some of the marketplaces favor more the digital fonts. So depending on that, what you are creating, you can actually target your marketplaces and actually contact them, get an approval and start selling on them. Whether you're a traditional type of calligrapher or whether you are more digital type of calligrapher. Guys, there are so many different kinds of the fonts, the sans serif, the serif, the decorative, handwritten, descriptive, a lot more is there. You need to find your own style over here. Some people create the serif, some create the sans serif. But if you're going with the modern fonts, then you're gonna see more kind of like a sans serif fonts. So on depending on these marketplaces, some actually tell you to make a serif font, some tell you to make sans serif or decorative or handwritten. Personally, for me, I am more kind of like a handwritten descriptive or sans serif fonts. I rarely create the serif fonts because I love the modern style of the calligrapher, like the font style and all that. So that's why I create that. So you have to find your style in the fonts. All these things comes with the practice. Don't be too hard on yourself while actually selling the fonts. It's a lot of the learning curves. It's not simple as it may sound, but there's a lot of the learning curve and definitely you can do that. Definitely you can find your own route of selling the way you want to. Last marketplace that I have for you in this series of the second type of the marketplace is Lineo2. Okay, of course there are a lot many marketplaces out there that are just famous for the fonts. If you want a complete list of them, let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna make another video for that, but today I'm gonna keep it very short because already my video is going long. So this is the last part of the second marketplace's last website, Lineo2. For unique fonts that won't be found in any other website, Lineoto is a wonderful choice with fonts that have a script for as many as seven languages. Fonts purchased here are going to be well used for a variety of applications. Typefaces can be bought either as a single weight or sold as a font family. Like, let me know your own experience in the comment section below, guys. I would really love to hear from you. But if you want me to actually talk more about selling the fonts on any of these marketplaces in much more depth, let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to do more research and I'm going to make a separate video for that particular stuff. But hopefully you enjoyed today's video and find it useful. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you watch for tuning in today's video, I'm going to see you the next week. Take care. Bye guys.